What's up, Internet Land? Zekums Prime, aka Zekums Prime, here with another Transformers video review for you. And today, the figure that we're reviewing is the Transformers Studio Series Game Edition Barricade. And, um. I think this figure sucks. Look how they massacred my boy. Like, I really liked Barricade in the games, because I thought the Barricade, the character in the movie, was pretty cool. And then they're like, yeah, we're going to make a Barricade for the video game. And I thought that he was pretty cool. And uh, and then this guy is just... <laughs> it's just... It's just... Uh, I don't know, man. He's so, so bulky. Um, He's so... Like, he's so bulky that all of his kibble and crap, all of this shit covering him, is it gets in the way of his posability. So he's not very posable. He doesn't, like, look the part very well. Um, they made some questionable, questionable design choices. Look at those fucking clown shoes of feet. <laughs> like, I mean, honestly, guys. Honestly, honestly, I, mm, mm, yeah, I'll give it a thumb up, yeah, <clears throat> I, no, I just, I don't dig it, not one bit, sir, not one bit, um, accurate-ish, um, stuff on the back that's cool, you know, I, I do like this, like, um, this, like, detailing that's put in here you see it in here it's not the like cool hexagons that the original uh war for cybertron figures had um but it almost looks like it almost looks like it's supposed to be that like retro reflective structure you know it's totally not but yeah uh, in terms of accessories, he does come with one weapon here. Um, you can plug this onto his back for um, weapon storage, which is nice. It doesn't get in the way and it doesn't stick out. Um, to have him wield it, you completely take off his arm. It is just that one arm. This other arm doesn't come off. And then you plug this into his arm, and now he's got a gun arm. Very, very much like how they did it in the game. So that's accurate. Even though it's kind of a silly gimmick, it's accurate. I thought it was silly in the game too, but, you know, it worked out. It worked out. It worked out fine. And so, yeah, so he's got his gun. He can only put it on his arm. There are no pegs on it. So you can't have him hold it in a more um, traditional way. He does have 5mm peg holes in his hands. But um, but there's nothing that you do with them with this as it is. I mentioned the weapon storage. Uh, let's talk about articulation. So from his head, his head is on a ball joint, I think. But like, you can kind of pull it down. But, like, uh, turning his head is just such a freaking chore. <sighs> yeah, his head will turn all the way around. In retrospect, I'm actually really lucky that didn't just, like, snap off and break. His arms are on joints they can move outwards that much <laughs> they can go around if you avoid his like back kibble there's a transformation joint here which you will likely trigger somehow his arm has got a, a uh, bicep swivel and an elbow bend for like <laughs> 45 degrees of motion like that's 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 pitiful. That's pathetic. That's abysmal. Generally I talk about how like ninety degrees is the minimum, like forty-five degrees and below is 
abysmal. Uh, his wrist is on a ball joint, but really all you're going to get out of it is a little bit of rotation. He does have a waist joint. That's something. His legs are on ball joints. They'll go forward. If you rotate them out to the side, they'll go, they'll go up that much. There you go. And they'll go back that much. They'll go out exactly that much. No further whatsoever. Um, he's got a thicep swivel there. And then his legs bend that much. I'm not even kidding. It's, it's, it's 30 degrees if you're lucky. Like almost no bend whatsoever on those knees. And there's not really... Like technically you're supposed to put these up. And then there's like a little tab on this that kind of fits into this slot right here on his thigh. So like that's where that's supposed to go. Um, I've seen people keep this down where it's like in its vehicle mode position. Either keeping that up or keeping that down. But it doesn't affect the motion of that knee. It just affects how much like kibbly crap is on his hips. But it doesn't even make his leg more poseable. It just affects how much kibbly crap is on his legs. He has a single joint ankle, which is extremely rare. We haven't seen a Studio Series figure without ankle tilts in quite a while, actually. Now I'm trying to think whether or not Crosshairs had that. But, um, it's, it's, not only does this foot look completely stupid, but it's also, it's a very weak joint. And it's really difficult to get this guy to stand well, because he's such an awkwardly positioned figure, and, um, and it's just, it's difficult to get him to balance on his toes. Because there's no tilt to them, so you bring him out, and now he doesn't want to sit flat-footed at all. And it's just... I mean, you're not going to get him posed in anything but a standing there pose anyhow, because he doesn't have the joints for that. Um... But, like, it, it's just, I don't know. I think that this is ridiculous. But anyhow, let's get him transformed. Let's get him transformed. Let's let's hide the shame in behind a robot, in, in behind his alt mode, which is actually decent-ish. So you take his arm, your wrist, you take his hand, you rotate it around, and then you fold it in. And then you can close this up fully. And you do the same with the other side. Rotate that bitch around. Plug it in. There you go. This guy here will fold around like so. Rotate around. The legs, you are going to fold them up like so. And then... These guys are going to come down and around, and then this will flip around again. So, down and around and flip around again. Your legs are going to, your waist is going to rotate 180 degrees, and then you're going to take this and start to plug everything together. His feet will plug together. These little uh, leg details will plug together, and this will kind of come back, and they'll kind of click into place. That will free up this area here for you to tab these guys in. The arms will shrug down on those double joints that want to go when you move the arms. Like that. And then this will come out on this little armature, come around, and then slide down and click into place like that. And that's actually a pretty solid connection. So this detail ends up on the back of the car. You can take this guy here, plug it in up top like that, and there you go. He's got a car mode. And I will say his car mode is flipping huge. Um... Gosh, I don't have a size comparison off the uh, off the the cuff right now, 
but um like his car mode is almost like a modern voyager class size like it's big it's very big like this guy does not compress into vehicle mode he just has a vehicle mode um no details on the tires which is a little bit of a bummer i liked some of the cool details that the other the old war for cybertron figures from 10 years ago had nothing like that but yeah i mean his vehicle mode his vehicle mode is okay and it rolls fine and that's about the nicest thing i can say about this figure um it does uh, like look mostly coherent here and uh pretty true to how it looked in the video game so that's all that's all nice that's all nice things yeah no oh, I, I can be a nice person Robin mode's absolutely garbage but anyhow that's my review for uh the studio series video game barricade everybody thanks for watching you guys are fantastic everyone stay awesome and be good to each other see ya